Hi and welcome to the third lesson in my short series on the guitar of Light and Slim. And in this third and final lesson, I'm going to show you just some different rhythm ideas and some different licks and whatever else I can think of here to show you that I've, from what I've learned about Light and Slim. And a lick that I've always liked, I first heard it in a song by Lonesome Sundown on Excello Records called uh, My Home is a Prison. And he does this as a intro. Lightning Slim does the same thing. And I'm kind of wondering, was Lightning Slim the guitar player on Lonesome Sundown's version of My Home is a Prison? I haven't looked it up, but I think there's a pretty strong chance that he was, because he plays this exact same lick. This is something you can use as a solo lick or to kick off a song. And this is from a um, Lightning Slim tune called I'm a Rolling Stone. It goes like this. <laughs> string. I'm going to tune this up a little bit. And then I'm going to get the first hammer on, kind of a double hammer on the first and second frets of the fifth string. Combined with the open fourth string. That's that first part of the leg. I'm doing a bend on the third string, second fret, and then hammering on twice to the second fret of the fourth string. I throw in the open E as well, so I do this. So you can use that as an introduction as part of a solo. That's another really cool thing that I, I picked up from Light and Slim's playing. Now for the last part of this lesson, I'm going to get into some different little rhythms and that he does. So a lot of his songs you have this. That slow, kind of swampy blues and E. But he also does some different rhythm variations, usually centered around a little hook or, or lick. And I'll show you a couple examples of this. This is one, kind of what I call a boogie lick in E, and he does this. So that lick, that is just a variation of this, which we've already learned. So we're sliding from the third fret of the third string to the fourth fret, and then picking the third fret of the second string. Then we're going to get the open third string, and then wind up on the second fret of the fourth string. skipping the slide and we're just doing the open string. We're going to hammer on then to the fifth string, second fret. Open, fifth, third fret of the sixth string, open. So the timing on that. Then when you go to the four, doing the A7, a typical light and slim bass lead in. Now a variation of that, which I, I hear as well, I can't remember the name of the tune, Mean Old Lonesome Train, I think it is, he does something like this. Where he's coming back to the second fret of the four string, so it's the exact same lick I just showed you. But instead of 
leaving it on the open six, which is an E, he comes back to this E on the fourth string, second fret. Like that. And again, just do the same thing. go to that A7 chord. Another little boogie type lick that he uses in the a song in the key of E is from a tune called Rock Me Mama. He does this, this right here. <laughs> starting on the second fret of the third string, hammering on to the first fret of the third string, and then winding up on the second fret of the of the fourth string, which is a, a, an E. There's that same little bass run. We're pulling down on the third fret of the sixth string, and then letting it go open. You could double up the strings on that and get a variation right there. Another example of one of these repetitive boogie licks comes from a tune called It's Mighty Crazy. And he does something like this throughout the song. And that lick, starting on the second fret, of the fourth string, and then we're doing this hammer on on the first fret of the third string, double stop with the second finger on the second and third string, and then back to that same hammer on pull off thing. And then we do the bass again, third fret, sixth string, open, and then we wait. sings the verse and then kind of like that. So there's another variation on the E type theme. So the Lightning Slim tunes, almost all of them involve the same three chords, the E, A7, B7. Some of them are the slower tune. A lot of the songs follow that slow blues and E type of theme. And then you've got these different boogies where he uses these different riff, riffs. those same chords and on some of those he just uses the one and the four and never even goes to the five. One last lightning slim idea before we we depart. This is from a tune in E. This is his version of uh, John Lee Hooker's Walk in the Boogie or Boogie Children and it's called Just Made 21 and he's playing this out of a standard tuning in the key of A and he does this really cool boogie riff in A. Most of his songs are in E. There's a couple in G. There's one that I know of in A. And he does this kind of thing. And that's a kind of a boogie pattern, like you'd hear John Lee Hooker play. And I'm just doing it in standard tuning. John Lee Hooker's boogies are in open tunings. And in that first leg, I'm going to snap on the fifth string, third to fourth fret. And then into this A, which I'm just keeping my first finger on the second fret on the fourth through first string. So that's the bass part. And I'm just doing a 
couple upstrokes on the A chord. You can get just the third and fourth strings, or you can throw in the second string, however you want it to sound. He does go into a solo thing where he does kind of the... Just double stops. Here's the A. That's an A7 double stop. Got my first finger on the third fret of the first string and my ring finger on the fifth fret of the second string, and I'm just taking it up to. And he throws in a solo where I can't remember exactly how he does it. that and it goes back into that into that boogie so there's another kind of a cool rhythm idea that I, I picked up by listening to light and slim I can do that boogie without retuning my guitar to an open tuning I can just do that in A. you can mute it with your right hand palm and get all kinds of different tones and sounds out of that so that's that's really all I have for for light and slim, if you listen to his recordings, a lot of them, there's a lot of repeated ideas and a lot of the same ideas with slight variations. And if you really want to get into this playing, you just got to listen to his recordings and, and figure it out. But what I've done here is show you some of the basics, things that I've picked up that I use in my playing whenever I play a slow blues in E or a, kind of a boogie shuffle in E with a harmonica player especially. I can use a lot of these different ideas. In fact, a lot of those boogie ideas in E, you could use them all in the same song. You could mix it up. Each verse, use a different one if you, you know, think about it and come up with a way to do it. Hope you enjoyed these lessons. I will be back again. And a couple months, I'll pick another classic blues guitar player and we'll go through his playing. I think we're going to do Magic Sam. I've had a request for a lot of Magic Sam stuff. And so I'm going to break his playing down even more than what I did in my original lesson on him. We'll get into that in uh, July and August. Until then, take care and I will see you soon.